Hey YouTube family, I'm back for another cooking video. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Keeping Up With Kamiko, cooking vlogs and reviews and more. So, yes, I changed just the name, like I don't know what, till I find the one that I'm looking for, I guess she'll be changing the name, but it's still Kamiko, Keeping Up With Kamiko, cooking vlogs and more. Cooking vlogs, review, and more, because I want to start doing reviews on things that I purchase. And stuff like that. So I want to start doing reviews and cooking. A whole lot of things, you know. Because your girl, she do all kinds of stuff, okay. But I don't want to congest y'all with a lot of stuff, okay. So anywho, kitchen is so dark. So dark in here. I'll be glad when I get a ring light. So I can move around like I want to. Um. So anywho. So yeah, tonight I'm going to be cooking. Uh, shrimp alfredo shrimp and broccoli alfredo with some barbecue pork steaks so the fam and me and teddy gonna have some ribeye steaks so and homemade garlic bread um yeah so that's what that's on the, the menu tonight okay and i'm gonna be i'll be back to show you guys the ingredients i'm using i already Clean my steak, seasoned it. I got my ribeye steaks marinating. Um, I chopped my onions up already. So now I got to do the shrimps and everything. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I don't think I got to get off here. So this is what I'm in the process of now. Prepping. Because I didn't want to get on here and bore you guys with prepping and stuff like that. So I want to have... Pretty much, I had to put some water on these so they can thaw. Because they were frozen. So I got these from Sam's yesterday. And um, my family doesn't like the um, the shell on there, so I sometimes leave it on there, and they can pull it out themselves. But I'm just gonna take them off and make sure it's been clean. They already deveined and all that, but sometimes they still be having that little crap in there now. So you got to check your food, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. I'm working on that. I have my ribeyes marinating, as you guys can see. Marinating a little bit of hand season. I just put some what I just put some Worcestershire on there. Just let it sit in there because that Worcestershire give it a flavor, honey. And then I have my pork, my shoulder blade steaks here. Already seasoned, ready to go in. I'm gonna add a few onions on top of there. Um, and I grease the bottom of it with some grapeseed oil. But these are all the seasons, nice seasons I'm using. Um the butter and stuff that's going to be for the alfredo and for my steaks i'm using lowry's you guys can see lowry's black pepper palom I mean what i'm saying pink himalayan sauce sheesh okay but you know this is going to be for my um my um steaks i'm not putting lowry's on there because i don't want myself salty minced garlic Garlic powder, paprika, smoked. Y'all know what I like. Um, little Italian parsley because I didn't have any. Um, I didn't have any. Um, what's the other stuff I was looking for to, uh, to put on my steak? I forgot what it was, but I have that and I have rosemary as well. I love the way rosemary smell and onion powder. And I'm gonna use a little beef bouillon to um beef bouillon in my um for my steak and i already got my water i got re here she she ready to get hot and that's all i already got my water ready to boil for my uh alfredo noodles let me take y'all over here and i'm gonna be putting in my alfredo sauce um Heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to put some half and half in there too, guys. Yes. I got three things of Parmesan cheese. I was looking for Italian, but I couldn't find that. And then I have, I'm going to use probably three packs of these. I'll probably use three. I'll probably use three packs of these. Uh, penne, regatta, regatta. Penne regatta noodles, okay? Uh, and then this is for my 
I have this um, French bread here for from Sam's for my homemade garlic bread that I'm using. I'm gonna make my own garlic bread. Uh, I mean, my own garlic spread to put on there. Um, and there is so fresh and soft. I love Sam Bakery and stuff. Stuff be so fresh and so good, guys. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys that. So that's the beginning process. What I'm gonna do now is put the onions on top of the the shorter blade steaks and. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven and let them bake and do their thing. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. And the oven is already preheated to 350 degrees, okay? So that's all I'm doing right here. I'm just putting the, sprinkling some onions I sliced up on top. Mm-hmm. You guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. I have bell pepper, but yeah. I'm just gonna be putting barbecue sauce on it when we get it, we'll get out the um, when we get out the um, when we get done baking and everything. So I'm gonna add some water to the just a little water to the pan to the bottom of the you know this little pan. I gotta get me a bigger baking bigger casserole thing so i'm just gonna let it put a little water in there that's all just added a little water to that and i'm gonna let them do their thing okay I'm gonna pop it in the oven always check that oven honey because i get tired of burning up stuff put this on the bottom Three fifty for about thirty five, forty five minutes. Okay, and I'll be back when I'm getting ready to start my Alfredo. I'm gonna do my steak last because a medium well steak don't take that long. Um, so I'm gonna do the steak last to show you how I do my ribeye steaks. Can we go this way? Okay, and all that. And right now, I'm just gonna. Take these shells off the shrimp, and I'll be back, guys. I don't want to bore you guys with me watching me do that, so I won't do that to you. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back, okay? I'm back, guys. I just wanted to pop on here real quick while I'm in the midst of uh, de taking the shell off the uh, shrimp. Let me tell y'all something. Even though they say they've been peeled, I mean, they've been cleaned, and all the poop, cause y'all see that? Let me see. Y'all see this? Focus. That's poop. That is not clean. That's why I say everything they say is clean. It's not clean. Check your food. That's why I go through here and clean it. Don't nobody want that. That's that's the poop. Mhm. Mm that part. And you just pull it out just like so. Look at that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Talking about clean. Hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm still going to rinse them off when I get done peeling. Rinse them off again. Mm -mm. Don't nobody get time for that, boo. Not me. Not on duty. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm about to put my shrimps on. I need more counter space. That's what I need. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a little hold on. That noise I apologize about the noise. That's my fan on the uh, stove on the floor. I apologize. Oh I forgot to mention the uh, seasoning that I used in the seasoning that I used in for the, the shoulder blade steaks, I use Lowry's black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and that's it. That's all the seasoning that I use for seasoning my shoulder blades. I forgot to mention that to you guys, okay? So, what I'm putting in here now is the shrimp. I mean, is the uh, smoked paprika. 
I use that a lot. Some garlic powder. A little more garlic. Ooh, wasted everywhere. Garlic powder. Some black pepper. And a little bit of Lowry's, guys. A little bit of Lowry's, okay? Just a little bit. I don't want it to be too salty. Because all the other seasoning and flavor, all that stuff gonna mesh together. I don't want no salty food. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here, I got over here heating up. Move her around a little bit. So she can saute these shrimp. Let the oil, let the oil get, um, I got to learn to work the camera. <laughs> At the same time, I'm doing stuff. Let her heat up so I can saute these babies. I'm going to mix them up here. Mix that seasoning up. And let them saute. And I'm going to add a little bit of, I'll turn it down a little bit, it's so too loud. I'm going to add a little bit of butter, because butter, it makes it taste so good. Whatever you use it on, butter, it just tastes so good. Yeah. some uh, grape tea oil in my skillet. Just a little bit. I'm gonna let that butter look on in there. The butter gonna get that flavor I want. And then we gonna let these babies, we gonna dump these bad boys in there like so. And we gonna let them do their thing on this skillet, baby. I love using fresh, I love using fresh shrimp, the ones in the bag pre-cooked to me, just so rubbery. I used to use those though, don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with it, to each his, to each his own. But I found out that um, fresh, fresh shrimp are better, so I like tiger shrimp the most, but they hard to come by and they're expensive. Um, but hey, can't go wrong with Sam, baby. We go back for fourteen eighty three, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. They just make everything taste so good. Say hello, Mia. Say hi, YouTube family. Say hello. <laughs> Say hi. You want to show? You want to show them? That what you're showing them? Is that what you're showing them? Spin around in the circle. Spin around in the circle, girl. Spin around in the circle. Spin around in the circle. Get it, me, get it. Get it, mamas. Get it, mamas. Get it, girl, get it. Get it, girl, get it. You ready to go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? What do you want? You wanna go outside, mamas? You wanna go outside? You ready to go outside, Ren? Go, girl, go. Go girl, go. She loved going out there playing in the snow and eating it. She probably need to go out and use the bathroom though. Come on, mom, is that we ain't picking up tonight? Mm-hmm. She'll let me know when she's ready to come in. She'll she'll tap on the door. <laughs> let me know when she's ready to come in. <laughs> Back to the regular schedule program checking on these shrimp see how they turn turn real fast those that know how to cook shrimps know how shrimps are I'm trying to make sure they all they fit because i'm gonna i want that water to cook off of it i mean not yeah because shrimp hold water like fish do so i want that water to cook off and give it that little nice little sear and everything 
So while it's doing that, guys, I'm going to clean out, clean up some stuff, and I'll be back, okay? water and the juices all cooked out of there so I'm gonna take these out I got my water on so I can get the water on to, uh, so, to boil so um, I can get ready to add my noodles once I put my noodles in I'm gonna start making my homemade alfredo sauce it's real easy to make really easy to make homemade alfredo sauce. Usually I use the the Bertoli uh, basil and pesto alfredo sauce or the five cheese alfredo sauce um, when I want to do it the quick way but I decided to do it homemade tonight. See it? Okay. Clean this out so I get ready to put my um, uh, steaks and stuff on. Well, I probably won't because it's okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put my steaks on. That's going to be the last part I do because I want them to be hot and fresh. Everything be hot and ready. My steaks in the oven are doing wonderful. They are almost finished. I can add the barbecue sauce to those. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Y'all want to see my face? <laughs> yep. So I'm letting the water boil for my noodles and then I'll be back once that get boiling. Get to boiling and um uh, get ready to make my sauce and stuff, okay? Alright. Okay guys, I'm back. Took this, took the steaks out of the oven. Kind of got it loose. Kind of loosened it up in there. This is that uh, sweet baby raised baby. And I'm gonna pour her on here. Pop it back in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes. Put this in the oven for 15, 20 minutes, okay? I'm back, guys. I'm about to add my noodles. My water is finally boiling. It takes forever to start boiling in this uh, pot right here. But I love it. It's my son in the background playing with little Miss Mia. Let me let me just add, let me cut up both. I don't know if I want to add two. Ooh, lost some noodles back there. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Can I always use this one, dude? Hmm. Go on in. One bag. Two bags. I wonder if they're going to be enough because I don't want to have too many noodles. I don't want to have a lot of noodles.
I got a, I got some I got some Tyrannosaurus Rex cellular here. <laughs> so I might need to add a little bit more. <laughs> half a bag. The two and a half bags. Those my noodles. And I'm gonna let those pour to Al Dente. So they're done. I wanted my bigger pot, but I couldn't reach it because there's nobody here to get it for me, so. I gotta work with this. And I'll be back when those noodles are done and then I'll start my Alfredo sauce when I come back guys, okay? All right. I'm back again. Let's give y'all the, the look, finished look of my uh, pork shoulder blade steaks here. The barbecue sauce on it. Looks good. Looks good. It smells good. It smells oh so good, baby. Okay, I'll be back when I'm be back when the noodles be done. Be back, okay? All right, all right. I'm back, guys. Did you miss me? I missed y'all. So now I'm about to um, drain my noodles. So handy because I love the little spout they have on there. If I don't bring it out there, see, I can see what I'm doing. So I don't want to burn myself. See how that, too, child. I don't want that to fall off and all that hot water hit my hand. Y'all be careful. Hold, make sure you hold, hold these down. I love this spot, but it's going to be scare me. Take these out so they can pull this water off of this. Slow the cooking process down because I don't want no soggy noodles. I sure don't. I'm going to shock it with some cold water real quick. So it'll stop the cooking process. So handy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, y'all see how much the noodles plumped up. I'm going to turn the cold water on. Give it a little shock. The noodles will get back hot um, when I add it to the pot with the, um, some of my outfits and stuff like that. So don't worry. We ain't going to have no cold noodles now. Don't worry, okay? I got this. That's sitting there, slow that cooking process down down over there. Bring y'all over here so I can start my sauce. I already got a stick of butter in there, that's two tablespoons of butter. Okay, let that melt, turn the oven on. Medium high. Put that in there so that that can all melt. I don't know why I needed this. I think we're doing cancer. I'll be prepared though, I know that. I'm just gonna leave it over here on this deep freezer. Okay? I need more candles. And then let me get my spoon. Milk if I add my garlic. Yeah, can y'all believe it's been quiet on the set today? What? I guess everybody getting the juice. I ain't playing. Stay out of my kitchen when I'm recording, okay? It's quiet on the set. It's been quiet. I already 
Oh, it's in this stove blower. This <laughs> is quiet. Tablespoon of butter, okay? This tablespoon, okay? I mean, not butter, guys. Garlic, okay? Mix garlic, okay? Once my buttermilk, I will add that, okay? Turn y'all turn y'all over here so y'all can see me. There you go. Right there. Don't you fall, man. Be careful. My shoulder's still giving me issues. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It's getting better. I just got to start wearing those cheap bras. I got to go Lane Bryant and start getting me some bras. Because, honey, them cheap bras is messing me up. Oh, digging in my shoulder. I'm still trying to keep these girls together. Just going to add a tablespoon. I know I love garlic. Add a tablespoon of garlic. football game so y'all excuse that noise okay that's him screaming <laughs> football monday monday night football yes i can't wait so now i'm gonna add the um heavy whipping cream here LJ, quiet on the set. And I'm also going to add, this is by choice. You don't have to do this. You can just add the heavy whipping cream. But I'm going to add a little bit of half and half, okay? That was a quarter cup. I think. <laughs> Child, don't get me. Then we, <laughs> I was just, I'm finna say, Chad, don't get me to tell you about a measurement. Because I be eyeballing this stuff, okay? Until my mama say stop. Okay? And I'm gonna let that thicken up, okay? Alright? Let that thicken up. I'm supposed to be giddy. 
steamed broccoli already steamed put it in it's eat for one pack one pack four minutes it'll tell you that one pack in the microwave four minutes I had two so I put it on eight minutes cheese too that I might add in here also. Add a little oil to my noodles so they don't stick while they wait to go in. That's a little bit of oil. That's a little bit. So y'all let me know. Because you can't see me over there. What you doing, Kimio? Adding a little oil to my noodles so they don't stick. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I want it. Fuck the mail, but everything goes in the pot. We ain't leaving none of you out. None of you. Okay. 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 Let me get back over here because I don't want my stuff to burn. Excuse me, little Miss Mia. Look at her. I always got something in her mouth. What you got? What you got? Get that out your mouth. Hold on, guys. She got something in her mouth. Mia, get it out right now. Oh, she got the top. There we go. Now, guys, let's add that cheese, shall we? Gonna add three bags of the Parmesan, okay? And this is 16 ounces. One and a half cup. I mean, six ounces. Am I? I'm sorry. Six ounces. Okay. Six ounces. One bag. Two bags. Whoa. Oops. I'm going to I'm going to add half a bag of the other one. Okay. That was like three ounces. There. Stir. Oh yeah. Stir. Let the cheese melt. I'm gonna turn it down on real low because I'm. I don't want it to burn. I want it to burn. Open up my. I need to open up my broccoli real quick. So I can just pour that in there. Okay, stir. It's gonna thicken up. Cheese melt in there. I hope I ain't use too much noodles though. But it's gonna coat real well. Mm -hmm. I want that cheese to melt. I 
should have got two things that heavy with the cream. I don't know why I got one. I thought I had one, but it was a half and half. So I just got that. But I needed two. This at uh, Ross's. No, I got this at Burlington. <laughs> My bad. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. out the way. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Let me get my shrimp. Got the shrimp in there. Y'all see that? Looks so good. Put the shrimp in there. Keep stirring them up. You can add a little milk too, a little whole milk. I could have added whole milk too. It's not sweet. I have done it before, guys, so don't worry. I think I should have. Big jean pot. That's what I call it pot. That's my big jean pot there. Y'all know I got some dinosaurs here. They love Alfredo. 
<laughs> Get that stuff in there. Oop, I lost one. Get back in there. Girl, I almost broke your feet. I'm sorry. Why are you in here behind me, honey? I'm so sorry. Y'all yeah, be bad. Let me go check on my puppy. I stepped on her. I'm bad, guys. She's okay. Ooh, scared me. She was standing behind me. I didn't know she was back there. Whew. Yeah. Make sure she was all right. Oh, man. Dumping stuff in. Hey, well. Hmm. Shall I have a broccoli? <laughs> mm. Oh, y'all. That Alfredo salt, man, that stuff is busting for real. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Y'all, it's so freaking good. And that's just the broccoli. <laughs> Making sure I coat all my noodles. Ooh, I need a bigger pot. I didn't want to use this one because I knew <laughs> what I was up against. <laughs> Look at that creaminess. Y'all see that? Sorry. Y'all see that creaminess? Hold this camera right. <laughs> it's so annoying. Man, I'm trying to get y'all to see that creaminess. Look at that. Look at that. Woo, girl. She be doing her thing, honey. Okay. Got it on low. Okay. Low. Usually I have my towel. Where's my towel? Oh. I don't need it right now. Yeah. That part. So, yeah. Woo. Little cream. Shrimp and broccoli alfredo. Homemade. Kamiko's way. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm gonna take y'all over here. And I'm going to slice up my. Um, Slice up my uh, broccoli. I mean, not my broccoli. Oh, listen at me. Girl, you sound high this. What are you saying? You can't talk now? My. So pretty. French bread. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Put it in half. Shall we? That's what a left ear do. Cut it. Like so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm only gonna use one one this one whole one. Then I got the that one ripped on the end. That's okay. We got it, we got it. Okay, do that. While I do that, I'm gonna be making my garlic. Uh, gonna make my garlic, hey guys. I was gonna do my garlic bread, but I'm gonna wait because it's not gonna take long. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Okay, right now, I am going to get my ribeyes on. Yes, I have my shrimps in there. Yeah, remember, it's my kitchen, right? 
Yeah, it's not gonna bother nobody. Put my oil, some grapeseed oil in there. So we got that before. I'm just gonna add this a pinch of this. Okay. Just a pinch, y'all. Just give it some more flavor. Just give it some more flavor, baby. Just a little bit. Like so. It's all you need. It's all you need. Get that mix up in the oil. Mm-hmm. Let the oil get hot. Let that mix on up in there. So I'm going to put this up. I need to add a little bit more oil. Just a little bit. I want to coat the skillet. Pan, skillet. Make it nice and hot. Make sure your steaks is room temperature. Make sure your steaks are at room temperature before adding them to the skillet. You don't want no frozen or cold steak going in your skillet. I mean your, your pan. We're going medium high. Medium high there. Let me get high. I'm gonna just go ahead and add my onions because I wanted to soak up that the onion flavor. Usually I don't do it that way. I wait to add my steaks in, but I'm gonna do it this way. So, what I'm going to do now, place my meat in here, away from me. So, you want to do that, you want to get that flat back on your burn. I got three steaks in here, but I'll probably just do one. Okay, go to one for tomorrow. Salt pepper on each side. those cook for like five minutes on each, each five minutes on each side so I'm going for medium well so I'm say four but that's medium rare medium rare four minutes five minutes and I didn't even time it how dare me so we don't close talk about a minute went by <laughs> I think. <laughs> don't judge. Because I don't know how many minutes went by then. I'm just going to put it at four minutes and then flip them. Flip them on the other side and salt the other side. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do two, two ribeyes. Save the other one for tomorrow. I can eat that with some eggs, steak and eggs for breakfast, maybe. Maybe, if I don't do my, I'll probably do a smoothie. That could be like a lunch or something. Cause I've been doing my, uh, I've been doing my uh, green smoothie and stuff right now. You know, detoxing the body, all that. Yeah. Go ahead and add my. I already got onions in there, so I don't need the onion powder. I'm not gonna use that. The onion flavor already gonna be in there. However, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna use garlic powder instead of the mixed garlic. Just add a little bit of garlic powder here. Leave those three things out. I'm not gonna use no. I'm not, y'all, can y'all believe? She ain't gonna use no smoked paprika. I'm not even gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it. I'll take those stupid decorations off. Tell them to pull those decorations off, girl. What are you waiting for? Steaks can rest once I'm done with it. Let those rest. And down there. So I can, um, yeah. Going good. Going good. Going good. I'm almost finished, guys. I am almost finished. Sit y'all right here. Oh, y'all watch this thing cook. While we watch that, y'all just come on back here. Scoot y'all back. Y'all watch me prep my room. Come on back now. Come on back now. Come on back. For well, my garlic, uh, homemade garlic bread. So what I'm going to be using. I did need my garlic. Oh, here we go. Okay. Time to flip these babies. I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna season them on one side again. Same thing, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Okay. Now, back to where I started from. 
I'm going to add on some of my homemade garlic, garlic powder. We'll spritz the rosemary just a little bit. I just, I'm going to add some of that on my face. I like the smell of that. Yes. Not rosemary on my garlic. That's what I'm saying. That was for the steak. <laughs> I'm all confused, girl. Get it together. Get it together. Um, garlic powder and parsley. I wish I had some time, but I don't. And I'm going to add that in there. And butter, that's all you need for some homemade garlic toast. That's all you need. If you want to add some like a uh, mozzarella cheese and stuff on it, you can sprinkle that on it too. If you want cheesy garlic bread, you can do that also. Um, let me add me some butter to my ribeyes. Just out the way here. Bring y'all back over here. Add some butter. The butter, it makes it taste so good. Yes, it does. And then put that butter and help tender it, help tenderize the meat even more. Like that. Come up here like that. Come on. I know I'm a lefty. So. Don't try this at home. Disclaimer. Oven mitt. Yes. Get it in there. Come on. on the skillet. Let me tell y'all something. If I was out there on that grill, that's a whole nother ball game out there for your girl. She be ready. Yes, ma'am.
that into my steak so I can see. What I'm working with. Move, Mia, get out. Yep. Go ahead and pull them off. Let them rest. Let them rest. I'm wasting juice everywhere. Look at that. Look at that mess you making. Let me turn this around so I can. the butter my garlic bread guys I said I was gonna be doing short videos but not today okay cuz it's a process try to edit it down much as I can just let that bread soak up that butter like so let it soak it up The last step for me. Just soak up that bread. I could have got some garlic bread, but I like doing mine homemade. Sometimes I use this bread, and sometimes I just use. Texas toast. Can't go wrong with either or. Sourdough bread good too. Sourdough bread. Um, garlic bread. So good. So good.
Turn it around. Pop these in the oven. There we go. So much better. Six to ten minutes. If that. When I start smelling it, I'm gonna take them out. Take the bread out. But I want it to be a little brown. Come over here while I clean up. Clean up my messes. Pick up the pieces. <laughs> Y'all remember that old Martin when he was uh coming in for his uh um what was it what was his name? <laughs> um Tracy Morgan it was Tra Tracy Morgan Morgan was the guy playing the kid. What was it? Uh what was his name? He was a uh, hustle man. <laughs> hustle man. Pick up the pieces. Pick up the pieces. Trying to get a record deal. I swear I watch Martin every night. I go to sleep watching it, wake up to it. I be laughing so hard. Last night was the episode when Gina, <laughs> he was, uh, uh, they had a class reunion and he wanted Gina to look all fine and stuff. And he done set her up a hair appointment and a dentist appointment. Ooh, she looking like that woman on Cry Baby. <laughs> that, that episode was hilarious. And I always love the Halloween episode. <laughs> Just chit chat, y'all. I'm rambling, chit chatting, so we just won't be sitting listening to nothing. Sorry about the uh, <laughs> if you guys didn't hear me, but I had the water running, so I apologize for that. So yeah. Getting everything cleaned up here. Got a decent paint. Got a clean. Yes, ma'am. All right, garlic bread. Turn y'all up so y'all can see, honey. Y'all can't see me. Hey, boo. <laughs> so, yeah, so everything is done. Garlic bread is in the oven. The barbecue shoulder blade steaks are out ribeyes are done alfredo it's mayor named over there it's been a lovely night guys so i'll be back when the garlic bread get done okay okay all right see y'all in a bit okay guys all done got those ribeyes there medium well shrimp and broccoli alfredo that light ain't giving me no justice, honey. Y'all to see that there. Y'all see that? Just took that garlic bread out. Then over here we have the little barbecue shoulder blade steaks. Uh-huh. So... Be back when I fix my plate. Okay, now I'm about to fix my plate. No. Oh, that bread. My hands still wet. So I wash them off. Go get a fork.
juicy old steak down there. Teddy rubs too late. I just want y'all to see. Look at that. So good. But I'll be back when I'm sampling. When I fix my plate. Okay, guys? Alright. I need to take a screenshot. Thumbnail or something. Alright. I'll be back. All done, guys. Y'all see that? Oops. Trying to get a waste of juice everywhere, too. Epic fail. Lord, I thank you for this food. Thank you for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to prepare this food for my family. Let it be nourishing to our body. You let me in. Just name my prayer. Amen. You let me in. Y'all have some. I have plenty, as you can see. I cook, I cook enough for everybody. I hate for somebody to leave and not get their belly full. I'm cutting in this steak right now. She don't do nothing but go outside today. I'm going to get a piece there. Let me y'all a better piece of that so y'all can see. Y'all see that? See that little bit of pink in there? Don't see that little bit of pink left in there? I'm trying to see. Focus camera. There we go. Medium well. That's what I was wanting. Medium well. I'll do that. I'm like, let's play some. Ooh. But it marinated for like two hours in some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. So good. Mmm. Let's try this Alfredo. Okay. I'm about to have me some broccoli noodle. Broccoli and shrimp. You want to see that? Look at that. They say it's better than the ones in the box. Store box. I'll take that, honey. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Garlic bread, baby. Homemade. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna go eat all this. Song will be for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> um, but thank y'all for hanging with me in my kitchen. If you want to see more of me, and you like what you see, subscribe. Come join my family. Come join your girl. Tweet. You go to school Comment, from here subscribe, morning. like. You go to school from here. Okay. Yeah. I can't say Robin too. I'm starting. I'm starting my day class. 
ain't doing nice no more. And my son is talking while I'm trying to finish out, while I'm trying to outro, do an outro. He want to interrupt. He's so rude. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a blessed night, okay? Until the next time. Bye, boo. Smooches. Love, peace, and kindness. God bless. What did you do, Mark? Smooches.